This is my. Woo! Oh man, Mike is. I know that probably hurt him. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another TV show reaction and commentary. And today we're going to be hopping into episode two, season five of Breaking Bad. We are moving through this thing like lightning, and I love it. Damn, this show is awesome. This one's titled Magical. I have no idea what that is, if it's a definition of something. It sounds like it's a place, though. So, you know, I only I, I make sure to stay uh, in tune as I can with the titles because they do have a lot of importance. But, yeah, we're going to be going into the continuation of Walter being an absolute menace, a villain. And I, I'm excited. I'm excited to kind of witness this. I've been excited to see it and i don't know i critique walt walt's character a lot because i genuinely think he's a phenomenal written character um and i get on his actions a lot because you know his actions and just his philosophy and just his journey uh, it, it inspires conversation and i love that you know this is a very human uh, story a human element throughout uh, through and through throughout this entire series i mean i think breaking bad is just a human study um overall but man it's uh it's fascinating you know it's fascinating seeing our previous themes and philosophies kind of come to fruition here and a diabolical mutation of its own and you know it's recognizable it's not that these themes differ or anything like that they actually don't these are universal themes like cause and effect that's a universal theme there's not really good and bad to that it's just a pendulum there's just a motion of things um so seeing these themes and still having this interesting effect to where you know you're watching something mutate throughout it like the pendulum is swinging and you're seeing this this new form manifesting throughout the motions and seeing that not only within Walter but for every character that happens to be within that gravitational field uh, of this story is pretty incredible it's it's kind of it's it's pretty damn groundbreaking i don't think i've seen anything quite like it to the depths of this um i would have to say dark is a great example um if you guys haven't watched that i watched the last season like way back on the channel but uh, one of my favorite tv shows is dark and i i love that i love that series and it kind of does the same thing despite it being like very sci-fi and time travel and all that good stuff um it's a very human study it's a very human element that they study and that they look at and that the themes evolve around and no matter how crazy the story can get and how sporadic it can be those themes those universal things uh they kind of just hunker everything in you know it keeps things in a gravitational pull but you know the mutation is what usually intrigues me you know you can't really figure out what exactly is going to come out of this and similar instance is happening here with breaking bad so i'm excited to kind of continue this into episode two see where we are just going to be going throughout the story um and more importantly you know just finding out more and more about walter's character you know where and how does he feel where does he lie you know is there a line anymore is there a line in the sand anymore we're going to have to find out for ourselves. But, guys, like always, I appreciate you for, you know, just tuning in, stopping by. This has been such an awesome ride. If you want to be able to listen and hear more that I have to say, you know, get early access as well, you can. By checking out the Patreon link below, you can also support the channel. By leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And at the end of the day, you don't have to do any of those things. Just sit back, relax, get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into Episode 2, Season 5 of Breaking Bad. Dies hier ist eine neue Konzeption und wir finden sie echt prima. Halb French dressing, halb ranch. Damn, man, those close-ups are... <laughs> Sadistic. That's disgusting. Hearing all the nasty sound, what the heck? Er dachte, um gastrische Notfälle zu mildern, die vom, die vom Original hören. Smoky Mesquite BBQ mit... <laughs> man, what on earth is going on here, man? Okay, so this is a company. I see, I see, I see. The title of this was referring to a company.
again, I really enjoy like how they are shooting this. You could tell that he has a connection towards that just by, you know, movement of the camera. Not even saying a single word. Yo, is this dude about to about to do something crazy? Is he about to I'm about to go to the extreme and just say, is he about to off himself? Ich bin Kriminalkommissar Kunst. Ich muss mit Ihnen sprechen. Würden Sie bitte aus der Toilette heraustreten? Yep, I'm gonna assume that is what he's doing. Damn, that is pretty hardcore, man. Yo, man. <laughs> Just because Gus is dead. So Gus has been, he's been doing things outside of just what we've known him for. Which is interesting, because I wonder how all of the things that <laughs> ties with Gus is probably going to swarm. Innocent no. person, some kid, maybe, no, no. even, come on. and they're going to pick it up, and it's going to... You're working yourself all oh Jesse, my God. come on, Jesse. Listen, you, you, you've got to get a hold of yourself. Here. <laughs> man, this dude, Walter, is diabolical, man. I still can't believe he did that. <laughs> that is just... Ah, man, that is just dark <laughs> you guys remember when they melted a dead body I think the second episode of the show <laughs> oh man good times <laughs> Getting schooled. Absolutely schooled. I almost shot you. Hey, hey, now. I almost killed you all because... Damn. Oh, man. This is so diabolical. This is diabolical. I miss when I didn't know. <laughs> I miss when I was ignorant. Damn, man. And I wouldn't change a thing. You and I working together, having each other's back, is what saved our lives. <laughs> this dude, Walter, is crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, this guy is a pathological liar. Oh, my goodness. Yes, equal. Three ways. You, Jesse, and me. Partnership in what? We figure we're gonna start cooking again. What? Cooking again? Why? Dude, just leave it behind. Oh, man. Oh, God. I know Mike is just through the moon frustrated at Jesse. Mike, I know you don't care for me. We've had our issues, you and I. Hey, directed by Michelle again. Love that. Her episodes are awesome. <laughs> Working on it here. Not exactly what a marathon's here, you know. Yeah, we're one injured couch shaped ass over running the marathons. <laughs> Proud of you, brother. Yeah, hey. yeah. My man with the cut, man. <laughs> Outstanding police work, Hank. If only I'd listen. But I guess the damage was done. That's good. I'm I'm loving I'm loving this moment, man. I really am. I was worried that Hank was gonna be on the the wrong side of this. You know, especially when he had such good people around him, especially in this field. And he told him. It's good to see him come around. Anything left of the laptop? Everybody coming around, really. The whole night we were laughing, telling stories, drinking wine. I mean, somebody else completely. Yep, yep. I'm sure Hank could definitely relate to that. Once he puts the dots together. Right under my nose. <laughs> oh, man. Dude. <laughs> oh, dog. 
It'd be crazy if Hank kills Walter. That would be insane, wouldn't it? <laughs> I think that'd be too easy, though. It's, it's It fits the story, but it also is too easy for the story. My opinion. You coming to me, or am I coming to you? Face forward. We'll talk like this. I guess I'm coming to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm not complaining that we get more of Mike. Mike is awesome. <laughs> Dwayne, this is so... Thank you. How did I not see you sitting back there? So weird. <laughs> you want anything else, Mike? <laughs> stupid. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> I'm just pointing out facts. These men, your men, yours and Gus's, these men were on the payroll. Very publicly, they trace back to Poyas and the laundry. They trace back to Magical, and they're going to get picked up by the... Damn, yo, this thing runs deep. What in a Chinatown? This is insane. Okay, all it's going to take is two or three. You thought it was just a drug trade, but there's just deeper pockets. There's just deeper holes, man. Drink your hot water. Damn. Oh, word. He, he, yo, the cash stood up, and on the next frame, it's down. But that was cool. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Come on. Shower will feel good. Damn. You could tell she just does not like to get touched by him. It's also really interesting how he was cut off that entire time. Almost signaling us through a filmmaking standpoint that she does not recognize her husband anymore. It'd be quicker to mention the states in which I'm not. And if we pulled your CCPs, everything would be in order? Yeah, I'm guessing you've already done that, so you tell me. <laughs> I love it. I love this. Am I right? Where at? Philadelphia. Hey! <laughs> Mike is from Philly. It makes sense now. It makes sense. Don't play no games, fam. Hey, man, we have a guy that can put you in that underground lab, and he'll testify to it. So from here on out, this can go hard or easy. So what's it going to be? He's going to go hard, man. <laughs> Come on now. Forget your handcuffs. I'm confused. Am I under arrest here or am I not? <laughs> Yo, Mike. This dude is just on some other ish, man. Books. Anyway, one of the names was Kaylee Airman Trout. Uh oh. Ten years old. And uh oh. He's, he's going after his granddaughter, and I'm sure he probably... That's probably a button you do not push. Because it's probably his weakness. The government's going to take every last dollar, unless... Well, here's the thing, Mike. Michael? Mr. Armantrop. Here's the thing, Mike. Still called him Mike. That's crazy. Oh, man. I don't know anything about any money. I don't know what you're talking about. Damn, didn't fall for it. But he is definitely in some deep doo-doo. I got you this time, kid. And how come you get two and I only get one? Hmm? Ah. You know what's crazy? Walter and Mike, now that I see the, the granddaughter angle, Closer than they realize. I don't know. Uh, we gotta talk. Not on the phone. Can you come to my house? Hmm. Oh, that's sketchy. I don't know. I'm sensing sketchy vibes from this. Golly, bruh. Damn, just has him just post it up. <laughs> Pointing a whole freaking gun to his face. 
Mike, I hope you are ready, man. <laughs> Dude, Mike is on some other ish, man. I'd like you to drop your gun where you stand. And turn around very slowly. Damn, you got Hitman going after Hitman. Oh, man. Oh. Damn, Chow's already dead. Holy crap, man. I knew she was going to pay 30. I'm really sorry about this, Mike. Wow, this frame is insane right here. This is a crazy looking frame. I know. Are you ready? This is my... Woo! Oh, man. Mike is... I know that probably hurt him. That's cold. He probably knows it's over. Yo, I've I've been reading this manga lately. It's called The Fable. It reminds me of literally that type of scene. Y'all should check it out. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Come say goodnight to me. Yeah, honey, after mommy takes a bath. Okay. Love you. Damn, it's a nice place. What the heck? You was living fancy. <laughs> Now you're about to be dead it. Don't shoot me in the face. Please. I don't want my daughter seeing me like that. Your daughter won't see you. Yes, yeah, she will. She'll find me. She never once sleeps through the night. Nobody's gonna find you, Lydia. Damn, that's what he means. He's like, yo, you're not gonna be seen ever again. I don't care what you do. I'll I'll scream and I'll keep screaming. My my daughter's not thinking I abandoned her. Shut up. And calm down. I don't care. Pew, pew. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn, Mike. Wow, bro. The fact that he's been in this line of work for so long and still kept his heart intact. Granted, it's behind several thick layers but that's insane i've reconsidered i'm in good <laughs> never before has washing the dishes been so menacing <laughs> they should make like a compilation of just him doing a bunch of chores with that music just playing for like 10 minutes just a montage of him just doing household chores, <laughs> staring menacingly in thought. <laughs> He's in his Walter Whitey's again. Every season we've seen a minute. <laughs> what we do for good reasons. And we've got nothing to worry about. Yeah, I think she's starting to realize she's in bed with a psychopath. That is the face of horror right there. Oh, my God. Damn. That is a way to end that. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, everybody. We just got done episode two. This was titled Madrigal. And now we understood what that title Man, it's a company that just goes to show you that Gus has been doing a whole lot more than just having his connection with, uh, you know, drugs. You know, it goes deep. It goes deep because what money brings forth, it tends to bring forth power. It tends to bring forth a lot of opportunity. So I am not surprised that the hole is a lot deeper than what it seemed on the surface, which is weird to say because we were deep in that hole. So to kind of see that it goes even deeper than that, 
is kind of mind blowing in a way, but I'm excited to see where these strings lead off to. I'm happy to see that Mike is more involved. Um, and I'm interested in seeing just how Walter is just going to continue manifesting. He has no competitors, you know, he has none, no competition at all. Um, he wiped out the last of his competition. I don't really think anybody except for Hank poses a threat. So it's going to be interesting seeing how he grows throughout this, which is weird to say because I'm saying it in a negative sense. But in his case, it's going to be positive. You know, he's going through a um, an enlightenment stage that obviously to us from the outside is terrible, terrible. He's transforming into a terrible person. But... Um, you know, his journey is different than ours, right? His path to enlightenment, his path into embracing himself and who he truly feels as though he is, is something we can't argue about, you know? Like, we, we can't tell him how to <laughs> live his life. Um, but we're also seeing the dangers of that. You know, it is, you know, it's, a, it's weird, you know? Obviously, his actions are terrible. He's a bad person. I am not justifying any of his actions by the way but to you know to to be oblivious to the overall self happiness that he has for himself and that you can evidently see because he has everything under control which is essentially what he wanted it's fascinating you know like he's truly alive in a lot of these moments and it's because he's finally hit that point, because he finally went the full measure. And I'm wondering if, you know, the whole plan of that happened once Gus told him that you can't take any more half measures. I wonder if that plan started really ricocheting in his head once Gus was like, you have to, you know, in order to be someone like me, you have to take full measures. Interesting. I'm excited to continue this. This is so damn good. Every time I start my day off with Breaking Bad, it's just, it's great. I, I don't feel tired at all. I don't feel um, drained. I just feel motivated and uh, fascinated, you know, because it really does spark those conversations. So I'm interested in seeing what you guys have to talk about in the comment section below. Like always, guys, stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket pocket full of weed Everything that I should ever need Grab some matches cause they give them free Just like my time Hair pulled back in the backseat